Hi kids, I'm Miss Jackie with Christian Children's Empowerment. And today our project is God Created. These are the items you will need. Welcome back. Now you should have your piece of paper, your crayons, something to punch a hole in your paper, as well as a piece of string. Let's get started. On the first day, God separated the light from the darkness. You have to decide which side you want to be light and which side you want to be darkness with a black crayon Mark the side that you want to be darkness on. And for me, this side will represent the darkness. On the second day, God created the heavens. Let's draw some clouds to represent the heavens. I'm using the blue crayon. Place the clouds on the light side of your paper. On the third day, God gathered the water to form the sea and revealed the land that was underneath. Also on the third day, the earth brought forth grass, flowers, and fruit trees. Let's draw our grass, flowers, and fruit trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. We're going to draw our sun on our light side and the moon and stars on the dark side. I'm using a yellow crayon for this.
On the fifth day, God made the birds, and he told the sea to bring forth the sea creatures. Sea creatures are like the fish and the whales. So, we're going to draw birds in the sky, and birds can be many different colors, so choose whatever color you want, and then make sure you put plenty of fish in the sea. On the sixth day, God created animals, man, and woman. What's your favorite animal? Draw that first. Then draw a picture of a man and draw a picture of a woman. On the seventh day, God rested and made that day holy. Our creation project is done. Now, at the top of your paper, write the creation. After that, you're going to punch a hole in your project paper. And then you're going to put string through the hole and tie it at the top. I want you to take this project and hang it on your bedroom door. And when it's daytime, turn it to the day. When it's nighttime, turn it to the night. And remember to give God praise for all that he created.